Let's turn the traditional Rubik's Cube on its head. Literally. Welcome to the Perfection Selection. A Cream of Cards TV. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to take a box standard Rubik's Cube and turn it into a planet of wild animals where every turn gives birth to a new set of weird and wonderful creatures. Everyone is born a one-off, like an original work of art, and then they spend their lives trying to scrub away the very same imperfections that make them unique in the first place, desperately trying to copy famous celebrities when they should be breaking the mould. The Rubik's Cube has been sold more than 350 million times worldwide and yet even that big number doesn't compare to the mind-boggling number of ways you can arrange it. In fact, you could probably build a bridge from America to the United Kingdom. And yet from all those permutations there is only one acceptable answer, where the squares on each side are all the same colour. It's like being at school again, where everything is reduced to a symbol, yes or no sir. Black or white. The real biological world isn't anything like that, it's super efficient in making use of and recycling everything. With this modified Rubik's Cube the idea is not to come up with one final solution but to explore every avenue, because everyone is a winner. These animals could just as easily be aircraft, motor cars, or anything, anywhere your imagination takes you. Paradoxically, a, a diverse gene pool, including some random imperfections, is crucial for our survival. Alexander Fleming proved that sometimes you can get your best ideas from the rejects by salvaging stuff from the trash can. When he came up with penicillin that went on to save millions of people's lives worldwide. The Victorians loved their chickens and poultry really. But the problem was that they focused too much on the look of the birds rather than their practicalities, leading to many genetic defects. Hmm, not much has changed here. As with most ideas, I've simply combined two things from the past, an iconic 80s puzzle and some surrealist art-inspired 1930s trade cards, and put them together. Now that you've seen that video on how trade cards can inspire us to come up with a new twist for an old game, why not watch some of my other short videos? Click on the first one to see how the author of Mary Poppins was inspired by humble postcards. See how a set of ice cream moon mission trade cards helped launch Davy Bowie's career. Click on the third video to see the world's oldest shoot 'em up game on an original pre-World War I magazine cutting. And click on the final video to see how one of the most popular decades in living history lives on today, inspiring both fashion designers and movie directors.